making the leap from a small scientific project to a large NSF science and engineering initiative is a considerable undertaking. Take scientist Lucy, for example. She does computational chemistry and is making the leap to large. Lucy has identified her stakeholders and the value propositions that her project offers them. Lucy has also generated impact metrics that match the diverse interests of her key stakeholders, tracking intellectual merits and broader impacts. Lucy is becoming a project leader. She must be a data leader. That starts with data management. Lucy knows data, models, and software are vital to her being a leader in her field. The data management plans for her small and medium grant proposals promised data would be available on request. There were few requests. Now, journals ask her to provide data when she submits articles for publication. This is for reproducibility, but more is going on. Lucy recently heard about FAIR data, data that is findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. She is embracing a disruptive idea. Fields and disciplines that are FAIR with data will progress faster. As a leader of a large science and engineering project, Lucy is now committed to make her data, models, and software available for use by others. She knows that she can get credit when others use her data. A DOI, Digital Object Identifier, attached to the data makes credit easier. Lucy can specify an embargo period so her team can mine the data first. These aspects of data management move Lucy toward data leadership. True data leadership comes from Lucy's understanding of the role of data, models, and software in the transformation of science and engineering research. Data research requires aligning diverse stakeholders and forging the high-impact culture needed for large-scale impact. So, let's focus on what you need to do to become data leaders.